Joe Zekas from Northfield Buzz. I'm out here at Clarkson Park in Northfield with my co-sponsors who keep switching sides on me. Bonnie what Larson side on my am left. I on, Joe? Linda Martin on my right. And uh, this looks like quite a facility here. Isn't this beautiful? We're at Clarkson Park, and this is actually a fairly new structure just within the last, I would say, three to five years. This was built um, mainly as a warming house because in the winter, um, this is all flooded and made into an ice rink. And there's a wonderful fireplace, like Bonnie said, for ice skating, and you can have hot cocoa. And in off season, you can picnic, or when they have concerts in the park, you could picnic there. So and it's a great spot. This is this is where. Back, there's a gazebo and a beautiful little playground back there. Right. This is uh, one of my kids' favorite spots. Um, they can bike over from almost any place. Um, and then in the summer, for the 4th of July, this is where the two parades converge. So we've got one fire truck that starts over here on the south side of town and another fire truck that starts a little bit north. And then they have uh, a bike parade and everybody decorates their bikes and then they converge here. And then the whole park is filled with entertainment for the afternoon. Oh, they have cotton candy and again, the, the dads are usually on the grill. Their uh, races be on the grill too if they needed them. Yes. Um, races. Oh, Isn't it illegal to grill moms? <laughs> no, we could grill. We might need to grill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had the Batman car here one year. There's a little train that goes it's called, around. It's called a Batmobile. A Batmobile. Uh, so your kids can get their pictures taken and they can explore the fire trucks. Have they ever had the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile here? They may have. Yeah. And there's a picnic pavilion sheltered here in case of bad weather. So it's a lot of fun. And then also in the evening then there are concerts here. Uh, a few nights we have concerts in the park. There are movies in the park. Uh, lots your going own popcorn. And this is named after a very famous person that lived in Northfield. And um, originally he taught uh, gym at the local school and, and he just never lost touch. He, he would come in um, as a volunteer and help the kids paint. He was a gifted artist also. Um, and so this is named after him. And right behind Bonnie and Linda are the uh, Willow Hill condominiums directly adjacent to Clarkson Park. Very conveniently located, and they're a hop, step, and a jump from transportation, shopping, the library. And they're very affordable. You can see how they're built with the one bedroom on each end and then the two bedrooms in the middle. And the one bedrooms are uh, between 140 and 160. The two bedrooms uh, run between 240 and 250. Yeah, and right now, well, obviously are, those prices can change at any right, time. Right, this is Correct. our current local market. They're a good value. I had a listing there, oh, I'd say maybe about five, six years ago, and they really, um, you get a lot for your dollar, and they usually seem to move somewhat quickly because, again, there's a lot of multifamily housing here in Northfield, and you can find it by talking to us or on northfieldbuzz.com. But it's affordable, and it's within the uh, reach on the North Shore. So I think that's the draw. 16 buildings, 16 units. This is uh, almost the answer to the divorced dad's North Shore prayer, and he can get himself a little one bedroom there and have a place to be close to the kids. Just across the street from Clarkston Park, and we're at the Willow Hill Condominiums. We thought you might like to see the center courtyard area. It's kind of private here. Who are you guys? You're my sponsors. Oh my goodness. Are you Linda Martin? Are you Bonnie Larson? Oh, We've switched right. sides again if you've been watching us before. We're from NorthfieldBuzz.com at Caldwell Banker in Winneka. But you're switch hitters. Yeah, well, not always. <laughs> and you know, one thing we wanted to point out that off the kitchen usually, they have uh, doors to a patio and a fenced area. So it really is very private for entertaining or for some just quiet reading. And again, convenient to the Edens, which is just about uh, two blocks, not two blocks, about a mile that way, east, and 294, which is west, three miles. And you can and get the Starbucks on your way to the Edens. And right, we've got Starbucks, we've got uh, Dominic's. And a great grill and a place. There's a real great dog care place over there where they um, have like puppy daycare and things like that. 
I think it's called Loving Care. We haven't visited them yet. We need to visit yeah, an animal we'll place. Yeah, stop in there. And if you're a bicycle rider, it's easy access to get to the Forest Preserve, and you can bike to the Botanic Gardens or Harms Wood along the trails. And Price, those prices here are in the low to mid twos uh, for two bedrooms too. So. Yeah, it, it's a it's really affordable. good value. Mm -hmm. Good value here. And good parking. You can tell that there's plenty of parking. It's also uh, short walk to uh, Middle Fork School. Right. Yes. And the library's nearby. And Beauty there's parlor. a lot of homes that are uh, considerably more expensive, priced very close. Royal Hill Condominiums. Thanks. Mix of two bedroom, one baths, and one bedrooms. And they have some nice vegetation here. Sometimes we comment on that, but that's always a nice feature to know that there's nice landscaping. Right, it's nice green. to have greenery. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some storage sheds in the back too. So. Mm -hmm. And some of them, I think there used to be. Do we see any willow trees? I think there used to be quite a few willow trees, but I'm not sure if they're still prominent.